Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be working on a nail art design. But before we begin the nail art design, I wanted to show you what inspired today's nail art design. What inspired today's nail art design is this Pandora bangle bracelet. This Pandora bracelet is a limited edition or was a limited edition in 2016 unique snowflake bangle bracelet. And there you could see the beautiful snowflake on one side and then if you twist it to the opposite side it says Pandora and it's just a bangle bracelet um, but I thought because of the snowflake it would be perfect to turn it into a winter theme bracelet so for my clips I chose the shining path clear CZ clips that I thought would go perfect because they remind me sort of like ice because of the clear CZ's in the center the first charm I chose for this bracelet is this one here this is the wintry delight blue enamel and you can see there all the nice little shimmers it has. It's so perfect, it's simple, but it just packs a big punch. Next to that one I have this Murano. Look how beautiful it is. It's cut so nicely. And then it has the blue shimmers. This one is called the Blue Fascinating Iridescence. And it's just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Perfectly, exactly what I was looking for for this bracelet. Next to the Murano I have the Blue CZ Snowflake and it's just a nice little detailed snowflake in the center it has the blue CZ Pandora also made this one in clear but I wanted the one with the blue the lighter blue for this particular bracelet now next to that one I have the moonlight blue crystal clear CZ and there you could see oh can you see the hearts in the center how beautiful that is and it's just um Pandora made these in several colors and each and every one of them is amazing and then on the sides, you could see there are all the tiny little hearts. And then in the center, like I, you could see there are the hearts in the center as well. For my centerpiece, I chose this pendant. This one is the Winter Kiss pendant that I thought would go perfect with this themed bracelet. And then on the opposite side, the charms just repeat themselves. And this is what inspired today's nail art design. Now let's get started with the nail art design. So here's the nail art design that I created inspired by my winter Pandora bracelet. It's not a difficult design to do. Actually, I wanted to make it a lot more simple, but as I went, um, I picked out more of the colors and it ended up being a little more exaggerated than I wanted. So the dark blues in two tones are inspired by this area here with the snowflakes. And then uh, the lighter blue by these charms here and then the white by the silver so i'm going to take you step by step on how you can get this nail art design done let's get started this is the nail polish i'm going to be using for my thumbnail it's by simple colors and it's called c'est la vie so for my thumbnail i just decided to apply two coats of this polish and that's it now i'm just applying my second coat Now for my thumbnail and my pinky fingernail, I'm going to be sponging this white nail polish by Alley Colors and this one's called Flurry. So I'm just going to directly apply the nail polish on to the makeup sponge and I'm just going to begin sponging it starting in the tip going downward. And I don't want to go all the way down to my cuticle area, just bringing it lower but not all the way down to the cuticle area so now i'm just stippling a little bit more for my pinky fingernail and i'm going to do the same exact thing for the pinky fingernail i'm also going to be using this blue nail polish by nabi called neon blue and i'm also going to be applying it with the makeup sponge So I'm only going to be applying it over the bottom area coming upwards, just dabbing it as well. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna be applying two different sizes of glitters over the bottom area of my pinky fingernail, bringing it up. This one here is by the Fun brand, and this one's called Let the Sea Set You Free. And this one with the bigger glitters is by the brand Santi, and it's called Ocean Blue Glitters. So I'm gonna start with the smallest glitters, bringing it upwards. Now I'm gonna be dabbing some of those bigger glitters over the bottom area, bringing it upwards a little bit. Now I'm going to be adding these white glitters. These are by Wet n Wild and they're called Confetti. I'm gonna be applying this glitter polish over my entire pointer fingernail and over the tip of my pinky fingernail. Now over my pinky fingernail, I'm also gonna be adding a couple of these blue glitters. I'm just applying a little bit of the bigger glitters. Over my pointer finger, I'm adding the glitter over my entire fingernail. Taking advantage that the nail polish is wet, I'm gonna be adding three little nail decorations over the bottom area. Now I'm just going to be adding a couple of beads. For my middle and ring finger nail, I'm going to be using this magnet nail polish by Sally Hansen. This one's called Ionic Indigo. And I talked to you guys about this one a while ago. You apply two coats. The second one, you apply it pretty generously. And then at the top, you could see there is a magnet. So after you apply the second coat, you place the magnet and this little stand here helps you not touch the fingernail and you hold it there for a couple of seconds and then when you remove it a pattern is left behind that pattern you see there um not the not the dots and the stars or the little snowflakes um but the background so that's what we're going to be working on next the background so i'm just applying a first coat Now for the fun part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix really well the nail polish and then I'm going to apply a second very generous coat. So I'm applying a generous coat of this blue nail polish. I'm gonna apply a little more. Oops, I did too much, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's uh, good if it's very generous. So now I'm gonna get the top and I'm gonna place it right above without touching the nail. So that's all you do. You place it there and then when I remove the cap, there should be the, the pattern that this um, magnet has. So I usually like counting to about like 20, 20 seconds. So I think that should be about 20 seconds. So let me lift it up and the pattern is left behind. So there's the background we're gonna be working with. I could already be done, but because I'm using the Pandora bracelet as inspiration, I decided to add a little more. So I'm gonna be adding over the white little uh, pattern that was left behind a little stripe of glitter. I'm gonna be using this glitter by Clean Color, and this one's called Addicted to Love. So I'm just gonna be outlining a very faint silver line over where the white uh, or the lighter blue color is. Now to paint the little star snowflakes, I'm going to be using this Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color white. This is the brush I'm going to be using and this is what the tip looks like. So I'm just adding a little bit of white paint 
and I'm gonna wet the tip and add a little bit of water so it could become runny and it, I could make my lines a lot more finer. So I'm just painting an X and just crossing it, making it a little bit longer. And I'm just gonna cross sideways as well. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be adding random tiny little dots. Now my last step is just gonna be to apply a top coat. I'm gonna be using this one by Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. And that's it for this nail art design. That's how you're gonna get it done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give this nail art design a try using your favorite colors. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.